just getting moaned at because like we was changing, so it was just you wanted to do everything like your friends do, and, and you wasn't allowed. You had to be in at a certain time, so it was just you wanted to be older and you just couldn't. So. It's that preteen adolescence beginning phase where they've got all the hormones changing, all the emotional changes. Uh, you know, be, becoming more grown up, worrying more about their peers than they do about parents. So you need to think, you know, from the child's point of view really, you know, try and remember what you felt like as a young teen uh, and how hard that sometimes was. You are going to have to be more flexible, to listen more to what your child wants, uh, you know, to adapt the rules as you go along, to negotiate about, you know, what you both want. And that takes a long time for that change to happen. So you can't expect it to happen overnight. It's a learning process as a parent as well. And sometimes you think you might say no to something and think, well, maybe I'm a little harsh, maybe, because they have got to learn. You can't wrap them up in cotton wool. When you're little, you play games with your friends. And then in high school, you just go out shopping or something. So it's like a really big difference. sometimes fall into the trap of just kind of nagging, you know, of waffling away and saying, oh, you should be doing, you know, are you doing this, you started your homework. But the child's actually not listening because you're not making an effort to make eye contact, to, you know, make them know you're talking to them. And it's still important to do that because it's so easy to tune out what your mum or dad's saying, you know, if you don't make that effort. Sometimes you just let it go over your head. If you if every time your kid makes a mistake or slips up that you're on the back about it, you know, you're forever going to be on the back, aren't you? Well, you know, sometimes you'll hear back from friends that you're, or even the school, and it seems like you're talking about a different child. You know, they say, oh, they're so well behaved, they're, they did, you know, I was really impressed when they did this. And you think it's just the same child, but that's a really good sign. So don't worry if they're challenging you at home, if you're hearing that feedback. You know, eventually, as they become older teenagers and adults, you'll be amazed at how much they've taken in of what, you know, what you've wanted them to do. And you'll be amazed at how much they just seem to be copying a lot of the ways you behave. This age, children, it can you know, it can be quite quiet. They're just locking themselves away in their room, or they seem a bit moody, or you know, they're a bit snappy. If you're getting worried about the way your child's behaving, getting worried about the relationship, have a real think about what you might change, uh, you know, rather than how the child might change, and think: Is there something I could try instead? Is there another way I could do it? Children repeat the things they get praised for, they repeat the behaviours that they got positive feedback for. So that in a way is how you want to be working. You will get a better relationship with your child if you're able to just work on it like that, to just give them some time and attention. That's by and large what they're crying out for.